regarded, but to have a group of people that support um, this role that I do. Um, and so, in fact, if you've got any really technical questions, you've got Francis Gerard here, who actually is one of the mainstays of the admission group. Rian, has been gone. Rian, good fellow, has also been involved in the admissions group. And Sue's here. So if you've got any questions uh, about what we say, because there is some detail here, um, I just want to make sure that uh, you know who to ask at the end if, if there's any questions. Okay, what's the problem? The problem is, is that we've seen uh, reduced numbers of applicants in Wales over the last few years. Um, this is data that comes from UCAS, and the most important figure is this one here. So there was quite a significant drop um, between 15 and 16. Um, we've stopped the rot, which is about the only thing that can be, good, that can be said that's good about this particular graph. Um, whereas uh, across England, Northern Ireland, and Scotland, there continues to be drop in applicants uh, for medicine. So um, this is something that was, was a real concern to us because Sally had mentioned in the talk or in response to something you said earlier about people choosing to come back from whence they come, um, the, Gold, the Goldacre studies. Um, so really, it's really important that we try to recruit more applicants from Wales. OK, so this is what the. Um, numbers look like, for Cardiff, we've always managed to achieve about 50% of all applicants from Wales. So the top line there is all applicants from Wales, Welsh from South Africans, to a medical school. The next line is those that come to Cardiff or apply to Cardiff. The next line is those that we've interviewed, and then those that have received an offer. Um, and perhaps the most significant part of that slide is that this year, because um, we've just finished our cycle of interviews, as Ian suggested, we've moved to MMIs, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, but you can see that there has been a substantial increase in the number of students that received an offer from Wales. So we haven't fiddled, this is not genetic engineering, this is genuine, <laughs> um, and we'll perhaps explain why we think this has happened when we come to discuss the, the MMIs and Sue deals with the details of it. OK, our admissions process has always been about trying to make sure that the process was objective, transparent, uh, fair, and free from discrimination. And um, what we were obviously wanting to do always is select the best students for the school through a reliable and robust method. Now, I've got to be careful what I say here, because we've got two current students in the audience. So I suggest that anything that went before the MIs was not very good. Uh, of course, you've got to remember that they were selected under that. So Jess and Farris have both been selected under the old scheme. Of course, it worked brilliantly because we've got those. Um, but this is even better because we're getting better, we think, better, uh, if you like, diversity through the processes that we've adopted. OK, as I said, we used an old three-person type interview. And of course, it's very difficult to get the profile of an interview panel that you want. In perhaps you want um, a range of ethnicities, a range of uh, levels of uh, progression through a medical course or through uh, training, uh, medical training. And it was very difficult for three people just to do that. And often we recognized what was happening is pe we picked people like ourselves because that's what happens. Um, we were, uh, we've moved to MMIs because there's a lot of evidence suggests that this method is better and more reliable than one the simple uh, three-person interview, and that it's fair and more consistent for the ca candidates. And, um, but because there's more opportunity to assess the individual, then there's less risk of so-called selection bias. Print's getting a bit small here, but there's more time to meet the candidates because you're getting more opportunities to, to engage with them. So it's more robust and defensible um, when appeal times come around, and I'll tell you, medicine <laughs> gets a lot of appeals. It's, it keeps our appeals office going for a good chunk of it. So the university and the appeals office going quite some time. Um, they'll, they'll pretty much clutch at any straw. Um, I've already implied that the increases diversity is an important issue. Um, and the Medical Schools Council, which I may be briefly touch upon towards the end, um, encourage medical schools to move towards multiple mini interviews. Um, and in fact, that like two thirds kind of can never be accused of being at the for forefront of any innovation. <laughs> I have to say this, but uh, you know, so we're what might be described as late adopters, but then we've adopted at least. Um, so what what you've got to remember though is that this is the point after which we select the students based upon GCSE grades. And a lot of people will argue because of the education system in Wales that we have this disadvantage 
applicants from Wales, and I'll talk a little bit if you want me to, about how we try and redress that, that, that issue. 